Yeah. Hi Luna! Of course you are, Jay! Okay, it's not over. Oh, wrong saying. Please hold. Okay. I... I was gonna do crochet today. But I don't feel like it. So we're gonna do cross stitch instead. Because apparently... Schedules. Yeah, Flomp, you are definitely crafty. Hundred percent. Right, so I'm trying something different with the music today. Well, not really. So hopefully it sounds okay. Apparently yesterday it was a bit staticky. Um, so please let me know if it's. Hey. Okay. I'm still trying to find a replacement for epidemic. Uh, so yes, as you can see, the doggo now looks more like. A doggo. This is the picture. Hey. Come here. So oh, yes. I think it's recognizably a doggo having a sleep now. So we're just gonna wait at that. And uh, if I feel like doing some crochet later, we'll do that. Or some knitting, we'll do that. Yeah. I can't remember what I was up to. I did break a needle yesterday. Like so. I have extras, so we're fine. Still really need to get a needle minder. 
but I can't bring myself to buy one. I swear, the second I start streaming, I, I start yawning. Oh, I need the pack. Open with... Alright, there we go. Figure out this little bitty here. What is that color? Oh, it's a dark gray. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we need to fill in this bit here. The, uh, the flight symbol. The, uh, the little floss organizer that they had is incredibly frustrating, so I cut, all, cut it up into sections. Luna, what's your project today? You doing the crafty with? Decide you like it. See? Good. Sometimes you just have to like not look at something. And then come back to it. But I'm glad, because that way it's not like a waste of time. Though it's never a waste of time, because it's always practice. I'm glad you like.
I wish it were cool enough that I could wear scarves and things here. so long like getting the camera lined up with the the cross stitch frame and then the first thing I do is move the frame I got frustrated with the e edges of the fabric being all like loosey-goosey and getting in the way so I just sort of like used duct tape on that uh, not duct tape masking tape on them which may have been a terrible idea It was just getting in, they were getting in the way. Oh, actually, you know what? We're not going to come back up here. So I made pretty good progress on this um, Monday, Tuesday last week. Oh, actually, it wasn't Sunday last week. I can't remember. I think I had Sunday off last week, right? Can't remember. I think it was Monday. I did a bunch. Um, it was just really nice. I just sort of watched watched Downton Abbey and did cross stitch. It's been a while that I since I just relaxed and did what I wanted rather than all the things that ought to be done. Though it did mean the thing the things that ought to be done had to be done the next day. I guess that's just a thing. Managed to get a head start on my dishes for tomorrow and I clean the microwave today. Quite a disgusting state. That was good. Wait, am I doing these stitches around backwards?
What is that back there? Okay, well, I guess it worked out. I'm going to press over there. Step, step, right? Hi, Runa. Hello. A uh, happy Sunday to you. Another raid. Welcome in. We had a nice stream today. What were you working on? Um, but yes, welcome in. I am Del Delaria, my pronouns are she, her. I'm currently doing some cross stitch, also known as stab by numbers. Um, I also do crochet and knitting, and I dabble in other bits and pieces too, as well as play games. Today. It's just stabbing stabs. There's a couple of like miscreant stitches in this, but that's fine. We will accept that. Um, so yes, welcome in. Feel free to, to lurk ominously in the background or jump into chat. <gasps> oh yes, your infinity cube. How's that coming along? I'm very intrigued. Very intrigued by that. Ooh. Hi, Ravi. Thank you. You too. Hopefully the laundry monster has uh, depleted somewhat it's earlier today. Three. Dang, look at you go. It's all folded and put away. Nice. Did the kiddos help? I know you said you were going to try and like, you were going to gamify it. Ooh, I look forward to seeing it. Oh, 
das mal geben. Oh, Ravi, you are so smart. It is so clever. Yeah, yeah, stitch mark is, yeah. It'll it'll be much better once it's stitched it properly. Raining party! <gasps> Hood! It's a pod pod. Oh my god. Pod, hi. Pudi pudi! Oh, that's awesome, Ruby. Pod, thank you. Thank you for the raid. Pod, how was the game? outside of Gwent. I hope you had fun. I was watching you slash people in half earlier. <laughs> well, you see. This dog was super cute. Why is Poet playing Gwent? No. Surely not. It's a very cute. I'm so glad that this finally looks like a doggo. I need to tighten this. Oh, this is so tricky. Yeah, it's a little puppy having a sleep. This is the uh, picture of the pet. I don't know if I'm gonna do the the text on it not or not or just leave it as a little doggo. I've not decided. Um, yes, yeah, so welcome in. Everyone who came over with quite hi, hello. I'm Del with Deliria. My pronouns are she/her, and today we are stabbing by numbers. I've been known to dabble in The Witcher as well. They have a very short attention span. Exactly, but... Um, so up above me in the circle is like a, a close-up of the pattern. I took a picture of it. Um, and I'm editing it in paint, Microsoft Paint so I can just like mark off each stitch as I'm doing it so I keep track of where I am. Why oh, need? I just realized. I don't know if this is like blurry. I don't know if the uh, camera is blurry or not. Craft. Oh, that's about it. That's as good as it gets. Yeah, otherwise I sit there like looking at the patterns, like squinting, trying to figure out what I'm doing. And it, it's very tricky. I swear it looks blurry, but I don't know if it looks blurry because my glasses are dirty. My glasses are pretty gross. Looks good? Okay, so it, it is just my glasses. Thanks, Luna. <laughs> Hi, Amelia. Honestly, that bloody croissant's turning into like one of those emotes that I keep seeing popping up on random channels. It's hilarious. Okay. Oh, hey, what do you know? Apparently... <laughs> if you could say croissant like that, I would ask you to say it like that all the time. Apparently, um... 
apparently if your glasses are clean, uh, then things don't seem to look as blurry. Croissant soup. It sounds really good. I like that. That's a really good super mode. Okay, Runa. Ding ding. Oh, that's a good one too. Thank you, Runa. That soup one is really clever because it's it's really difficult getting text to look clear in an emote without it being like having high contrast like that one that Jay did. Oh, that's from the extra credits channel. Ugh. I haven't watched that in ages. Really must pop in. Always like Will's hair. Will's hair is always fabulous. Right? Clean glasses. It's weird. This one? Oh, it's fine. I totally know what I'm doing. I mean, thankfully, at this at this level, it doesn't really matter if I make a mistake or not. No, you didn't. I don't normally call out the names of followers, but that is really good. Hi, hello. Welcome in. I like your username. Please don't feel obliged to say anything. You're welcome to lurk in the darkness if you like. It's totally fine. I don't normally say followers' names out loud. Just so people can choose when they pipe up or not. But know that I appreciate your name. <laughs> yes, we love the lurkers. For sure. I'm not quite sure where where are we going to end up today with the craft stream? Yeah, the mental bandwidth is not all there. Oh, well, thank you. It's a little bit, little bit clickbaity. But also, it's true, kind of. I guess it should really be stabbed by symbols. I did used to use the tag stabbed by no uh, sorry, stabby hooker. But apparently that's not allowed anymore. So I was never entirely sure if it was stab or hooker. They got the problem with the tag on that one. But yeah, we do cross stitch, I do knitting, I do crochet. Um, we've dabbled in wood burning, uh, play, so curlers. I'm willing to give pretty much anything a go. <gasps> Yay! Thank you. I did not hear that. Why did I not hear that?
Why didn't I hear that? Let me just turn that up again. How are we doing on that? You say we were like a third of the way there already. Oh, I heard that one. Oh, it just took a while to update. Oh, yes. Nope, oh, that was Karen. Hi, hello. My alerts are just a little bit out of kilter today. Refresh the source. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let me go into studio mode and just refresh my bronze. Whoop, whoop. My stream elements alerts. Sometimes things get a little bit wonky and a simple refresh will do. Uh, so yes, for, for anyone wondering what the big bother bonus stream is about, um, every month, somehow it evolved into a monthly thing. Basically all year this year, uh, as we've done for the last couple of years, there's an ongoing event in The Sims 4. We have this save game where Everyone is, who is a sub uh, can have a sim in our big bother lot, which is like big brother, but we call it big bother because it's better. Um, and we just we just watch it unfold. So once the goal is complete, the next uh, Wednesday, Thursday or Friday uh, that we're available, we will do a sims, sims stream. Um, and it's like watching a train wreck inside of a fishbowl in The Sims. Um, it's very entertaining um, and very silly. And there will be fire. Um, so yes, that is that is the what big bother is. Um, and it's going all year round. But this is the third year I've done it. Um, but it feels a bit more cohesive this year, like it's a bit more organized. I've got the structure figured out better. Um, and right, rather than just like binging The Sims and then me burning out, we're doing it as like community goals. So once we've reached the points, then we do the stream and then, you know, from there on. And that way it's it's interesting and fresh for everyone. I, for I forgot that apparently it helps to be able to see what you're doing with this. <laughs> Who needs to see? Right? I think. I couldn't figure out, like, last Monday or Tuesday, I think it was last week, I, I kind of knocked out a fair amount on this. It went from blob to dog. Um, and I didn't seem to have any problems looking at it, but it was probably because I was, like, holding it up here. But that's okay. I mean, it's, it's just a little bit of vision stuff. This is actually, I've got two cross stitches on the go right now, both kids. I would desperately love to design my own, but I'm not getting involved in any of that until I can finish the projects that I have already. Look, try and sneak a knot on there. I can feel you. Ah, fuck you, I got you. There we go. 
I could feel a little loop on the back. So we had, so yesterday for lunch, um, before stream, I, I made burrito bowls. Uh, I've got this recipe, which is really yummy. We basically just cook the chicken in the instant pot. Um, and then I use my rice cooker for the rice. So it's like really, really easy. And then I made too much chicken. So I used the rest of the chicken from yesterday's burrito bowls to make enchiladas today. It was really yummy. So now I have an extra full tummy again. And it meant that I actually remembered to eat before stream for once. I started I started this from like the midpoint which is like here and I sort of slowly started filling it in and going that way and then once I started recognizing what it was I started sort of trying to fill in the gap So I was like, oh my god, it finally looks like something. It doesn't just look like a generic brown blob. Necessary. Oh, I did it again. I'm paying Stitching the wrong way through. Amelia, how did those um, nail wraps work out for you in the end? I'm I'm like super aware right now that I don't my nails look like a complete fucking wreck. I figure I need to sort of, I don't know, let them get air or something before I do them. Oh, I was just curious how they worked out for you. You know, you said you had like a week without chips on them. Yeah, my... Well, I mean, you can see how my, my nails delaminate. They do. So I've got a little... Got some of these thingies that help. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if that's a thing I need to do, but this is what my nails are like without... If you can see how, like... They peel. <laughs> and they delaminate pretty badly. So what I do to, for, for them now to get them off. Yeah. So I use these things. Looks like a little torture device. 
So I'll put like the nail varnish on a quarter piece of paper or cotton and then I just put these on and I just leave it for a few minutes. I'll do like one all of one hand at a time and then just let it sit for a few minutes and then normally just with normal nail polish remover you can just like a little bit of pressure and it'll all slide off. So I was getting tired of like wiping and wiping and wiping. Yeah, so these were, I got these for, I don't know, they were like a few dollars on Amazon. Um, I definitely big recommend. They made life a lot easier. But yeah, mine are an absolute mess. I was going to do them again last week, but ended up with like a bunch of laundry doing a laundry by hand and even when my nails are yeah um when my nails get wet even with the the wraps on they bend a lot and that's when the chipping she said doing gels at home i would love to be able to do the gels i have like um I don't have it at my desk now, but Sally Hansen has um, some like non UV gel nail varnish, which is really good. This is a top coat that I use. Um, and it just dries naturally, but it's a gel but without the, the UV light. But yeah, those little purple finger, I don't know what they're called. Um, they just make it so much easier. And it forces me to sit still for a few minutes without fidgeting. I just wish I'd found out about them sooner because I really like being able to have the pretty nails without walking out stupid amounts of money and it just being something that I can do at home. Yeah. I get sorry I didn't I didn't mean to call you out of work I just I get really excited when friends try something like that and I'm just like oh my god I keep on I've I messaged them the first time I contacted them they gave me like a they made a discount code for me um we it was like a buy one get one And I've asked them again if they'd be interested, but they haven't come back to me yet. It was so nerve-wracking emailing them and being like, do you want to do something cool together? And they were like, okay, I guess. Have I got any more? Okay, so that's that section then. This like looping line here is like the rope that's like the edge of the sling, not the sling, the hammock. 
of the word that he is. For some reason, I feel like I have to do that last. Don't know why. That's that. Why is this so? I see. I wanted to be able to move. What is that? Ray Brown. Oh no, that's booze. It, I hate it when it's like your brain and your body like getting up against you. And you're like, come on, I need to get shit done in your meat. So it's like, yeah, but no. How about no? And you're like, no, fuck your body. Let me do what I want. And the body's like, mm, no. I don't think so. I'm sorry you're sleepy and in pain. That's a bollocks combination of people that was. Uh, you should demand a refund from someone for it. Or something. Apparently that's what you're supposed to do when you're not happy with you just demand a refund. Go full on Karen on your own brain and be like, look. Not for this bullshit. Alright, which one do I need now? me come on come on Quasso. i toast oh god uh, what have i done okay we good i think Possibly. Okay, I think. Yes, we're good. I got a little bit tangled up, but we're good. I'm sure someone has absolutely named their kid Poisson. And he'll grow up and he'll be like, it's pronounced Quasol. It's like Crayson, but with a Q. Or something. I don't know. I don't know where my brain is going with that. I'm just, Im honestly, I'm just imagining this like. <laughs> this 
poor kid being called yeah that's called crash on like the kids who call in the people that call their kids like Hayley and it's got like all these extra silent letters and shit in there I'm not mocking the name Kaylee. I think that's a pretty name. But when they add all the extra letters make it, to make it unique, actually, it's pronounced Greg. It's a term school, yes, exactly, exactly. It might look like croissant, but it's pronounced Greg. Okay. Is that going to be? Oh, have to be. We had at high school. We had uh, five girls in my class um, with the same. Well, in my, in my five girls in my year with the same name. Um, but everyone else's was spelled differently to mine. During the And I always had like people commenting on the spelling of my name, and it's not even that unusual. Tadashi and Megan. Ashley, isn't it funny? You, oh my lord. Ashley and Nicole, isn't it funny how names read like that? So I'm Catherine, but I've I've don't ever use my full name on anything except for like full doc proper documents now like legal stuff but we had five Catherines in my year and everyone else's was k-a-t-h-e-r-i-n-e -E, and mine is a r-y-n at the end which i was told was the the gaelic spelling i don't know if that is or not um yeah we had a lot of chris's and christina's at school as well Oh yeah, I bet it does. It's interesting actually, because depending on where someone comes from country-wise, that changes the pronunciation of the name. So the spelling could be the same, but it, they could put emphasis on different, um, different syllables. Yeah, I bet I bet yours does toast actually. I just trying to like mentally just running through them and I'm like I can just see them experience. I think I only knew one Alex. Yeah, so mine is gets uh could be Catherine or Catherine. Or Catherine, and they like add in extras, and there's like an entirely different syllable in there as well with the Catherine, and it's always like, no, that's I don't have that. And then when I started doing hospitality, because ain't no one got time on a busy night to say a full name so everyone's names just got like shortened down so mine became truncated to cat and i just kind of that stuck with me after i got out of university and i was like all right hello hey, yo, love you echo so no, love you Yes, Echo. Oh, 
Oh yeah, actually, you know, you're right. I, I had to double check my email there, Toast, to see your your name there. Am but I yeah. Not turtly enough for the turtle Green club? plus. Absolutely. What are we at? Four four seven. Who would have seen that coming, right? Echo. Green. I got you. Ooh. You're, you know, you know what? You're like the, if you're a problem, you're the best problem I got. What's interesting as well, actually, with uh, the name that I was given, there's no one else in our family with that name. Um, but on Flint's side of the family, there's so many variants of it. Like, all in his mama's family, there's variants of, like, Catherine's and Kathleen's and Hades and cats and all sorts. So it was just like, I'm apparently marry into a family tradition. The fifth. Is he the first? Oh, the first one? I think they, I don't, the, fir the first ones are normally... He signs a John. I kind of like that though. Like lean into it, man. That's awesome. I think normally when you get like the, the numbers, John the fifth. I love that. Or like a king. After Louis Lamar. That's kind of fun though. Tom, how fun is it my my mother um and my aunt none of neither of them were given middle names uh so when my mum moved to new zealand when she was 11 my family moved to new zealand when she was 11 uh, she adopted the middle name that I now have because she really wanted it. You got, you got named after a Willie Nelson song? <laughs> well, that's fun. Okay, we have ads popping in like 30 seconds. Um, so if you are crafting along with me at home or if you're doing other stuff, please stand up, stretch, take a break, we'll go wiggle those fingers, roll your neck, Shake your arms out and have a break. Get a drink, have a wee. I am also going to take a break. I'm waiting for the ad to start. Um, and then I will see you in a few minutes. Once the ad starts. Game, please. Switch. This is starting soon. But I just want, there's something going on, weird going on. Okay, we're just going to wait and see what happens here. Oh, also... Echo, you might see that you're getting a notification that ads are popping up shortly. No, it's just, it's going to play hard to get. At some point, we're going to have ads. So when they start, go straight, I will too. Yeah, I don't know where my first name came from. Yeah, I have it. Oh, there it is. Okay, ad break. He's on.
computers now have primary control of critical vehicle functions. Okay. Oh, also, I can finally show you guys my water bottle. I got this water bottle. A replacement water bottle. Taki! Holy fuck! Four years? Taki, thank you. It is pretty! The problem is, I was like, it's pretty and it's like fire, but unfortunately yellow still gets keyed out when I have my green screen on. I didn't, I didn't think about that. See, look. <laughs> it goes invisible. It's like, curses! But that's okay. But I had to scale down because my drink bottle was getting too big for me. So. Mmm. <laughs> Spain, your pineapple and guava and tropical holidays. Are you still away on your adventures, Taki, or are you home now? Oh, but thank you so much for your support. Yeah, I wasn't sure about this one. My last bottle had a button that you could push and it opened the lid. But this has got like a little pop-up straw. You got home this morning? Oh, well, thank you for taking time out from... from First day home, which is almost always a disaster for me. Laundry and tiredness. Thank you. You took it good. Good, good, good. I hope you had a nice time. I ate, ooh, that's a big nap. Yeah, I had a, a 64 ounce bottle and it was just uh, getting too heavy for me to lift without worrying about being dropping it. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you're going to have to adjust back. Oh, that sounds good. Sounds delicious. What is she doing? There's a little Mediterranean place that we like to go to occasionally, like very rarely, because it's uh, pretty expensive, but they have really nice, they make their own pita bread and it's just so good with like baba ganoush. Do a 32 ounce with a chug cap. This one has a chug lid on it as well. Um, but I feel like the straw help is a bit easier for when I'm streaming. It's, I love Baba Ganoush. It's delicious. Get to check out early. Oh boy. Yeah, I don't know. Well, the other reason, so it, it has like a silicon, this was like 10 bucks on Amazon. I don't, it's not fancy, um, but it's got a silicon base, which I like. Um, but one of the other reasons, other than my drink bottle being too large, is once I've had it for a while, I don't see it anymore. And so since getting a new drink bottle, I'm noticing the different color on my desk more. So I'm like, oh, I see it. And then I drink from it. So. I guess I just get used to something being on my desk. So I guess the answer is I need to get a few different drink bottles and then just like change them out. Like randomly pick a drink bottle for each day so it's different color or something. But I was so excited that it looked like fire and and half of it still doesn't show on stream. It's a problem with chroma key.
Brains are weird like that. Oh, Jesus, Taki. Well, there you go, see? It's just so that you're... Oh, absolutely. You just... Gotta keep it fresh in your vision so that you notice it. Well, I hopefully you get some rest before you have to go back to work. It's a holiday. There's no such thing as naughty food when you're on vacation, Taki. Work tomorrow? All right. Well, you make sure you rest up for the rest of the day. Good, good, good. Oh. Oh, good enough. That'll do. <gasps> Maybe you can. Or you could Uber some Peter and then heat it up yourself. Probably save something. Mm -mm. No. Normally. These are the pita chops at chips that I have. And these are like crunchy. Yeah. I mean, these are really good. They, they will, if you eat too many of them, they will tear your mouth up. Yeah. So you probably want f like warm heater, which you can then like cut up into triangles as well. Yes, those are very good at uh, traversing the distance between my hummus container and my mouth. I got those on closeout from our like surplus goods store for like two dollars a bag and i was so excited when i saw them fresh pita bread is so good though it is delicious especially because that was like a large bag those bags are normally like six or seven dollars yum and sushi is so good. Now, I said I I used the leftover chicken from our burrito bowls yesterday to make enchiladas today for lunch. And there's still some filling left for later. <laughs> Always talking about food. Always. The burrito bowls were really good yesterday. Um, the enchiladas today were like, yeah, but it was food and it filled us up. So. This is such a cute little pattern. Get these bits done. Just to get it out of the way. Mega chili mac. Hello. Hi. Hi. 
I can't help but sing it to Animaniacs Jr. I'm sorry. It just, it, that's how it works on my head now. I have got to get a needle minder. God, I'm tangled up again. Is it gonna work better? This floss is driving me bonkers. Actually, it's not the floss that's the problem, is that my hands aren't cooperating, but still. Oh, oh dear. I think I think I can imagine. Where, where that one was going. I haven't... Man, I always forget about TikTok. TikTok is like... What? Hey! Hey! Luna! Thank you! That wasn't me dropping a hint. I can... I completely forgot that it was on there. Thank you, Luna. I I was <laughs> thank you. No, oh, no. Now I feel guilty, like I was like trying to draw pens. I wasn't. I wasn't. I promise. Thank you. Well, that's gonna help with bees. That sound just startles me every time. I'm like, what is that noise? No, I keep on, I keep on, like, I know. Oh, well, I appreciate it. I feel spoiled. I feel very spoiled by you, Lamb. Right in. Like, I know I need to like try and do better at leveraging TikTok, but I have a few issues with it. One, I really hate watching my own content, which is a weird thing for a content creator to say. I don't like seeing myself at all. I avoid it at, at all times. Um, but two, I find TikTok really hard, like YouTube shorts. I find it really difficult to consume as content. To me, tick, like I understand the appeal of the short term, the, the short form content and that it's quick. You know, you get your message across, whether it's funny or educational or whatever, and then you're done. So it's good for short attention spans. The problem for me is that it's like someone changing channels constantly. So it, you get like a comp, like the there's no consistent volume or pitch or tone, and it's just so like I'll watch a few and then I just have to stop and just like like recalibrate the brain. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Like we've got a really solid group of people that that join like through throughout. I did actually buy some cute pins that I meant to turn into needle minders, but I didn't realize how big they were. But they, it was too big. Oh. But yeah, it just, it's, it's literally to me, it's as irritating as someone just like changing the channel constantly. And I just can't. Um, 
but it's also really difficult to turn long form content like mine or ours I should say because it's a, so much of it's conversational that it doesn't really translate into short form very well oh no yeah see that's the thing I bought like all these it's a really cute set of magnets like absolutely gorgeous um, but they're huge it's like the size of a half dollar and honestly that's too big <laughs> so now they live on my little whiteboard with all my craft projects which is fine oh I'm so excited about those needle minders though I'm like a, pro a, a proper sewer now or something. Oh, Luna, that's working out really well. A sewist. A cross stitcher. -a. a seamstra. A maker of knots. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with this afterwards. I got so frustrated with the outs with the edges of this fabric getting in the way that I I folded them up and taped them with masking tape. Which is fine, because if need be, I can just use, you know. There's not a lot of glue on them. It'll come off fine enough. Oh, it does? I wasn't sure if that was like a done thing or not, but it was just like, it was pissing me off. And I didn't want all it, it to all un, undo. And I was looking around what I've got and I was like, well, like, you know, I could try and stitch something on there. I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. Masking tape will do the trick. Mostly the tape is sticking to itself anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this is very, this is pretty thick. Oh, no, I wouldn't. I actually need to get some super glue, but no, I, I wouldn't use that. Duct tape would be too sticky. It would leave too much residue. I did make a little, like, fabric border with, like, two ribbons in it that I could, like, draw, draw pull, like, drawstrings tight, but it's too large for this. Like one of them fancy, like, fabric frames like you have, Taki. The thing that goes over the Q-snap. I sort of half-ass made one at home and it works. Yeah. Or, a, yeah, a grime guard. That's what, that's what I was trying to word. I forgot the word for grime guard. I was thinking of doing that as well, but I can't get to my sewing machine right now. So it's like, oh. Uh, masking table do.
I still don't know what I'm going to do with this once it's done. Raiding party! Hey! Hey! British summer time! <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, it's only penguins. It's fine. Hello? Hi, Mayjoy. Jax, hello. Boss, hi. Emily, hello, hello. Welcome in. Thank you for the raid. Thank you for the follow. How you doing? Hi, how was your stream today? What were you working on? I saw, I did see Waken tweeted you were going live, but I, I missed that bit. Hi, Mayjoy, how you doing? Welcome in, everyone. Thank you for joining on the raid. I hope you had fun. Building, oh my god, yes. There you go. There, oh, that reminds you, I've got some like Lego, some Lego things to make. How exciting! Thanks, Stardew. Perfect. Um, but welcome in, everyone. Hello, I'm Del or Deliria. My pronouns are she, her. Um. Thank you, thank you, uh, British, for using for using the uh, pronouns extension. It's amazing. Um, yes, welcome in. I'm doing some stab by numbers today. Uh, alternatively, on Sundays, you could find me doing cross stitch, crochet, knitting, play. Can we just fuck around and chat, really, on Sundays? But I also play a lot of open world survival exploration games, uh, and automation, and building, and fire. About the the scope of it. Sundays are for chaos. We never know quite where Sundays are taking us. Are you gonna post some pictures on Twitter? I'm pretty sure I have you on Twitter already. I know I saw Wake and Tweet. We're going live message. Oh I don't. Well I do now. I do now. Thank you so much for the raid. If if you need to um, stretch and do some post stream self care, I know it's also late for you over there. Please don't feel obliged um, to stick around, but you are absolutely welcome. Um, I will take good care of your community. Um, they're also all welcome to lurk or jump into chat, however they feel comfy. What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. So we are working on this little cross stitch that I was given earlier this year. I still don't know who sent it. It just appeared in the mail without a note. Just a mysterious cross stitch delivered in my mailbox. So it seemed like a good time to work on it. It is very cute. This is the the full picture here. Um, it was only a couple of days ago I finally went from like blob to dog. And that transformation was like really sort of lit a candle up my butt. I was like, okay, now we can go. Now we can move because it looks like something rather than just generic shape. Yeah, blob dog. I'm a cow, so like, move. Blob dog. Exactly, Punky. Oh no, it's all right. You're all good. Moo! Funky friend, hello! Yeah, it's like... 10 o'clock there for you? Ish? Hello! Good afternoon! Uh-oh. What have I done? Hi! It's Sari, Hi. resident Pokemon and waifu here with a message for you. Go stretch, hydrate, take a small walk, or even what a small nap. Be kind to yourself. You deserve it. 
Good afternoon. I I do like a good afternoon. I think I did something weird, but it's fine. It's really fine. Yes. Do your self care, please. Hey. I don't have a game to save. Oh, oh, that's good. Okay, yes, please, please do the rest and the the lurks. Um, thank you again so much for the raid. I appreciate it. I will keep an eye out to see uh to see your oh there we go right there. <gasps> that's so cool. All right, that's very cool. Starts after tomorrow. Did you like taper off completely or are you just like scaling it back? Okay, that's good. All the good luck, yes. No, oh, I know I've, I've been there, done that, got the t-shirt. Do not recommend. No, I just got rib um that this reminded me that I actually have some like Lego sets that Ali sent that we need to use at some point. Heck. Starting five. Okay. Well, it sounds like it's being managed well. Hang on. I'm just going to, I'm just turning my camera, craft camera off just so I can move things without making you all motion sick. Sure. Okay, we have to deal with it. Uh, here's a weaver. Oh, that's cool. Okay. <laughs> sure you do. If it makes you happy. Why are you being like this? If it brings you joy and makes you happy, then yes, you need it. All right, thank you. It was lovely to meet you. Enjoy your dinner. the music today by the way hopefully it's not staticky which is it it was yesterday quiet but fine okay 
I mean, I can add more volume. But apparently yesterday it was a bit staticky. I think because of the way that I had my audio set up. Mate, me too, aren't they fun? They're just like printed canvas, so they're really light. It's like a little piece of card. Feels like we're just having a piece of cardboard in. Ooh. Holy crap, Punky, that's amazing. Prolific Carol. Imagine have like the brain to come up with four hundred like unique designs like that. That's so cool. Punky, at this point you ain't trying, you're succeeding. You're doing it. You're doing it. Like, a few is trying. 396 pat patterns on Spoonflower, you're fucking doing it. Moo. Okay. I have to figure out where I am on this pet now. Gosh, with that many fabrics, you could make a punky pink cow quilt. That would be amazing. I'm getting confused. I've got coffee and water, and I I can't decide which cup to pick up first. Mm hmm. Punky Pink Cowilt. Ooh, there you go. How do I want to do this? I think we want to do the red square is color I just put away. One. 
M H three nine. For a minute there, I thought I'd lost the needle. Soon I won't have to worry about that. It looks like, I only just noticed, but it looks like um, those needle miners have like a little uh, loop on them. So I could attach like a little charm to them. Okay, no, it still looks blurry to me on camera. That's fine. Okay, where do I want to start? Where am I starting? You here? Well, welcome back. Here is where I start. Here is where I start. Ooh. Trying to make sure I scoop up a, a an oopsie loop underneath. so violent. Ah, uh, fan, I missed it up.
this is tummy shader. I make a lot less mistakes when I'm not streaming. So I have an app that lets you like scan a pattern and then you can like, it converts it into a, a trackable PDF, I guess. And I tried it a couple of times and every time I try it, I just end up going back to doing what I'm doing now, which is just Editing a PNG. Yeah. Well, the app seemed like a good idea. problem is that for it to work properly you need to pay and I'm just like uh. or or I could just put dots on a PNG for free So, <laughs> you do. Yes. Um, mods will notice now that they get a five minute warning that ads are coming. Um, just in chat, you could just ignore it. Um, there is a, a snooze button uh, that you might see but it's just to like basically delay ads and I have I don't want to do that because it fucks up with the reminders but at least you guys get a five minute warning so that I don't know you can do something with it or something I did have it as a one minute warning but it didn't give me enough time to do anything with so
Jake from State Farm. What you wearing, Jake? Why is this slipping around all of a sudden again? I can't remember what ads I got I've been getting. Which thinks you're a dad? Understand. <laughs> There's so many, like. dials and widgets and things that you can tighten up on this little stand. I don't know, I don't think I... I don't think I watch enough Twitch to get a lot of ads. Usually by the time I'm done with streaming, I'm kind of done with people. I think I most of what I get is, is food, which, you know, stands tracks. I did have... I think it, it was Sunday... No, it wasn't Sunday last week. It might have been Monday or Tuesday. I watched more TV than I watch... Oh, sorry, more Twitch than I watch anything else. Um... I can't remember, I think it was either Monday or Tuesday. I didn't have Twitch on at all. Just... Just turned it off. I was doing chores, doing cross stitch, and uh, watching TV, watching Downton Abbey, and it was just like disconnecting from people.
Oh my gosh, exciting. Okay, you too. You can do it. This is the last day. Thank you, Ithor. Be safe, Frindar. I'm sure it'll be amazing. Lastest day. No, you. Okay, bye. Bye. I'm gonna say this is making me want to get my flower one out and that's like half finished is that because i'm about half finished on this this is the point apparently i get halfway through a cross stitch and then i want to start something else i'm pretty much at that halfway point now now it's obviously a dog. I can stop and start more blobs. Maybe I just like blobs. This is back left foot. I always start off with the best of intentions, you know, like don't carry the yarn over more than two squares, blah blah blah, and then I get halfway through and I'm like, I don't fucking care. Nobody's gonna look at the back. I don't care. No one's gonna judge my work. I don't give a shit. Because I'm enjoying making it, that's what matters. Pee pee puppy.
You don't, I mean, it could be a cat. Oh, we have ads popping in 30 seconds. Uh, so, uh, this would be the time when you all stand up and stretch. Get a drink, have a wee. Look at something more than half a meter from your face. I am going to do the same thing. Then you can have a switch instead. Or a PlayStation. I'm right back. Jake from State Farm. Wait, Jake from State Farm is trying to sell you a cricket? <laughs> I mean, 
I'd buy a cricket that was sponsored that had like sponsorship stickers on it from State Farm. Exactly. <clears throat> Bonus mum's got a cricket. I don't even know how that thing works. I swear, this looks really fucking blurry on screen to me. Yeah. Yeah, Luna said it's fine too. It's just my glasses. I'm going to be getting my eyes tested soon. Those uh, stream element sponsorships are going to help a bunch with that. Oh god, something crunched. Ugh. It is kind of nice not having to worry about getting tangled up in yarn and stuff. This is where we find out if I've counted right. You have come for the stab. Hi, Drax. What are we stabbing? Everything. Fucking everything. How's, um... You just... Hi! Discord's outing you, by the way. It's telling me that you're playing Autoforge. Um, the evening is good, thank you. We, we stitch in a pop. Is it, 
isn't it strange? Like, I played it for a couple of hours and I was like, yeah. And then all of a sudden, six hours passed and I'm like, what the fuck? And then the next morning, I get up and I'm like, oh, but I'll just log in and do this little bit. Just jump in and do a little bit. And then like three hours have passed and I'm like, god damn it. It's such an impressive game for one person to have been making. Mm. It is. <laughs> it is, it is, um... <laughs> it, it's a, it's a very satisfying... Yeah. I'm glad you like it, Amelia. I'm, Drax, I'm so glad that you're enjoying it, because I was just like, is it just me? Like it's, like I was saying, it's, it was scratching that itch. And watching everything like scoot down the tubes, just... It, it, you know what? It floats my boat. You know? It, mo it, it mows my lawn. It pickles my herring. I can't remember the other ones were that Molly said on that, that clip. I don't think Molly said pickling your herring, but you know, close enough. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm at the point where it's about to get... It makes the story vintage, yeah. I'm at the point where it's about to get more difficult, where I'm having to sort of spread out a bit further, and then I'm just like, you know what, maybe I'll just start over. But yeah, I was just like, I glanced over and I'm like, playing Autoforge, huh? Hmm. I see what's going on here. But yes, we're, we just, we just doing our chill Sunday. Where we just sort of wander along wherever the brain goes, wherever conversation takes us. That's cool. Sunday, Sunday. Na, 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 na. I've also discovered. No, I have not, Punky. Um, I've also discovered that if I get to a halfway point on a cross stitch project, which is like this line here, this is when I want to start something new. I know we we have monster truck events here. Um, because. One's brother takes our nephew to them. His son, I guess. Flint's brother takes his son to the events. Um, I feel like it's something I might have enjoyed when I was a younger person, but now I know that they're loud. They're going to be loud. Though it's cut, it's engines, so it might be like an allowable loud sound. Like some things I don't mind loud. I don't like loud music. Florida, right? That's it. I don't mind loud engines, but the the neighbor who insists on riding his Harley down the road at seven thirty every morning. Uh, as a cock. He doesn't coast it. He fucking fires the thing up first thing in the morning. And it echoes. And 
and I'm all for admiring a nice bike. Where the f What the fuck was I on about with that? Oh lord. Oh quote but man the effluvial toots is an old school one. I still keep thinking of the punchline to that the the mansplainer joke and wanting to make that it's well more than two years it that's all of those got dated to january 2022 but i'm pretty sure that's a lot older there's a punchline to a joke from last week about mansplainers and i want to draw the punchline which is a well with the word actually on it somewhere <laughs> poor poor Kodo with me yesterday I think I kept breaking things but I'm not sure see Maybe? Possibly. Yeah, I have this idea of doing, like, drawing a... Yeah, where does a bandspanner get their water? From a well, actually. And in my head, I've got this, like, image of, like, a sort of cartoonish style well. With, like, a little sort of wooden sign underneath saying, actually. Or it like sort of carved into the stone somewhere like a little like plaque on the side of the well and it's been sitting in the back of my head since I heard that joke for the first time a couple of weeks ago but I have yet to get the the brain to fire up into art mode I've done some drawing since making Pierre but Nothing that I've been happy enough with to even save. No, I have not. If I drew a well actually, then we could have that pop up on screen when we get the back seaters. Be like, drink deeply, my friend. <laughs> That's cute. Is there such a fountain? <sighs> Why? <laughs> oh no oh dear <laughs> it does sound pretty delicious it's funny I just noticed that the city is talking about the eclipse tomorrow I'm pretty sure we are well out of the path of it
Yeah, like we're pretty. Puppy looks comfy. Yeah. Puppy is doing a hick and snooze. I can't imagine we're going to get much here, though. I think you're just going to end up with it looking like there's been a bit of a nibble. I haven't looked, honestly. When I saw the path of, the path of it, I was just like, we ain't getting it here. Yeah, see, we'll get a... Oh, here we go. No, no, you're a bit far away. Oh, actually... We will get a good chunk. Okay, so this... This is the Tallahassee Democrat. But... Um... If you scroll down partway down the page, you can put in your zip, and it'll show you like how how much of it you will see which is more than i thought that's that's a good sized chunk it better not interfere with my mowing of the lawn old lady shakes fist at eclipse Um, yeah, that could be a useful, I don't know if it works, should. Yeah, it works for the entire states. Oh, this is really, this is a very interesting side, actually. I'm sorry you don't get to see the big eclipse, right? I could set up my camera. I have... I have eclipse glasses from the last one we had. So I could set up my camera on a tripod with the eclipse glasses on so I can capture it, but I don't think there's a good point around. So between one foot, it's it's literally going to be happening when I'm supposed to be doing guard work. <laughs> I'm just like, it'll be fine. Actually, it might make it nice and cool. The thing that I think is really cool with eclipses, the lot like the last one, is how yeah oh yeah um how the wind picks up with the temperature change and how like birds just go dead fucking quiet it is so airy like i can totally understand how before humans understood the mechanics behind these eclipses they thought like ominous shit was coming it's pretty cool Like, if you didn't understand what was going on. But yeah, you you will probably... I mean, where you are, Toast, for sure. As I said, if you click through that link, it'll show you... I mean, think it's coming. It's been here for the last fucking seven years. <laughs> oh... But yeah, if you click on that link, just scroll down, it'll show you what coverage you'll get for your zip. So you'll be able to see. It's pretty handy dandy. Oh, Ape! Where's Ape when we need him? <laughs> that would be really neat. Actually, Toast, I feel like that would fit in as well.
We are red. Wait, what is this? We are red or green during the eclipse for a fun science lesson. Okay, that's kind of cool. So there's a four to five minute window of time before the eclipse reaches totality where your eyes are functioning in a weird between zone between like light and dark, which makes certain colors stand out or look more washed out. So if you're wearing green when the eclipse is happening, when every all the colors start to fade, the green will pop. I didn't I didn't know about this. This is fascinating. Sorry. This is this is what happens on Sunday streams. Uh, but there's a there's an interesting look to uh to check out if you want to have a look at this color thing. Honestly, I didn't think we were gonna get anything near enough to uh to warrant looking at but I will dig out the eclipse glasses from last time. It was pretty handy. Last time my uh, my brother-in-law was a high school teacher and he brought home a big handful of these the uh, glasses so we were able to give them to like the neighbors for their kids and stuff and tell them don't look at the fun. I like the stupid cheater man. I shouldn't say that. Okay. But yeah, it should help with the temperature actually. So maybe I will do the mowing. Oh, I'm kind of excited now about possibly being able to mow the lawns without getting sweaty. Living on the edge. The excitement. I th I feel like the eclipses should could work like um, the temporal storms almost, but with less fuckery. So like if it's a really rare thing that happens, but like something wonky happens with drifters during an eclipse, I think that would be pretty cool. Okay, least yeah, least fucker. <laughs> it's a technical term. Yeah, a temporal. Yeah, like still like kooky shit. Or like certain plants like grow faster or change. I don't know. Animals run towards you instead of away something. I don't know, my brain's going a million miles an hour now. Fuck that off. Let's save, I haven't saved this. So this is the little tummy, the tummy of Pop. Ruby did tell me. Maybe that's part of it? We're being tummies? Eclipses make your brain overclock? Well, they might not necessarily be a bad thing, so I'm pretty sure mine's underclocked right now, so maybe it'll bring it into balance. I am definitely out of balance at the moment. This last couple of months, everything has just been completely wonky.
Alright, what is, what color is that? V, 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 pale brown. One, five, five, seven, six. I mean, do it. Do it. What flavor is it? Oh, that's Pooh's Punky. Cool. Chunky Monkey? What? I don't know what flavor Chunky Monkey is. That reminds me, there's a brand of ice cream that I got that I tried because some friends know how I liked it called Genie's. It's my. Obviously, it's monkey flavored, but chunky. Thank you, Drax. <laughs> hey, Tom. Banana ice cream with. Oh, okay. The, the Jenny's ice cream, they have one that's like a gooey butter cake or something, and it is so fucking delicious. It's ridiculous. That reminds me, I have some walnuts. The neighbors gave us a box of goodies again. Um, and there was a bag of walnut pieces, which means I think if I have the motivation that I have a walnut loaf in my future. Walnut bread. Marsh Madness? No, not warm matter, but I did get more almonds. <laughs> I've got, I'm up to like five pounds of almonds now. I can't make five pounds of almond butter. What am I going to do with five pounds of almond butter? I mean, it was delicious, but I didn't even finish the cup fuller that I made. Marshmallow flavored ice cream with chocolate chips, peanut butter. Oh, that is a lot. That's a lot going on there. No, I think I'm going to make walnut bread. Oh, it's called Madness. Honestly, my favorite chocolate, my favorite ice cream flavors are like chocolate and raspberry. I like the the tangy and the sweet. Would, would would you try that, Tom? Just, you know, make a sacrifice and try it for us. Oh, that reminds me. Canes. Uh, the, the chicken place that you guys have up that way are opening up a store near us for some reason like pretty close to us canes is someone i always hear rayam talk about canes well not always but i've heard rayam talk about canes before and apparently that's all they do but they're they're coming to us soon we're like raising canes or something <laughs> yeah. Chocolate peanut butter. I mean, yeah. Clint likes peanut butter stuff. Like, he always gets, like, peanut butter shakes, and I'm just like, oh. No thanks. 
we got um Dairy Queen did they had a thing the other day where it was like buy one get one on their blizzards and he got like some sort of super peanut butter something or other party something and I was just like that was a lot I had chocolate strawberry I'm a simple girl it's really yummy simple yeah I am simple <laughs> no. Oh no. <laughs> Heck. Um You can't just sell chicken. He doesn't he's like bit. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I mean if you've got the right combination of factors you can you know he's obviously done it right for himself caramel cheesecake that sounds pretty good too would a simple girl say this probably i mean the other thing that i think is interesting is that i live in Florida and I've heard of his restaurant chain like I've been aware of it as a place that sells really good chicken tenders and I'm really far away from it I mean word of mouth marketing enough so when I saw the news article I was like ooh I mean from Ohio Pretty far. A roller ring? That would be amazing, Punky. Hmm. Oh, is that the one? Is that another? the other one from Dairy Queen Toast? I think we had that one. The cheesecake one. That was really good. I mean, I, I do like me some fried food, but I feel like traveling from Florida. Oh, OK, because they did that at Dairy Green, too. They had a, a cheesecake, a New York cheesecake blizzard, and it was fucking delicious. Um, Yeah, I, don't, I feel like traveling from Florida to Ohio for, for fried food might be a bit much. Like, I'm sure it's really good, but it's a, a long drive. Oh, is there? Oh, well then apparently I don't have to drive that far. I can just go to Ravi's house. It was, <laughs> look, I told you that recipe made a lot of cookies, Punky. Told you it made it. It was a, it was a lot. When, when Punky visited, uh, I can't remember what it was, was it year before last? I made my cookies <laughs> and I said it makes, it's a, it's a good recipe and it, it, it makes a lot and Punky arrived and it was just this 50 gallon, it wasn't a 50 gallon drama cookies, but it was pretty close. Totally worth it. Amazing. I had a blast. We still talk about it. Haven't been to the zoo since, but we were thinking about going for another trip soon. That's such good cookies. It is. So many cookies. It's such a simple recipe and it's just so delicious and flexible and I love it and now I want cookies.
Maybe. maybe. Oh, Revy. Oh, Revy, I posted a link in Discord of something that you might find uh, fun to do with your boys. Um, it's a, like a, a science learning thing to do with the eclipse. Not that you need more, but it might be something that your boys will be interested in. I was totally tracking your plane the entire way here, yes. A hundred percent. I'm always happy to share my cookie recipe as well, by the way. I'm pretty sure as well when I saw it land that I went dancing into Flint. Yeah, exactly. And I was like, Puggy's here, Puggy's here, Puggy's here. And he's like, uh-huh. Yes, dear. I did. See, when Sadie visited, it wasn't, it was hard because Sadie gave me an ETA and that was it. He really is. Pretty much. When they asked where the little, and they started double checking the box. <laughs> Don't funky. Well, actually. Oh, that's cool though. But yeah, it said that. And Pluto, poor Pluto, being a little. Proto dwarf planet. It's such an interesting thing. I read a book. Uh, I read a book by Mike Brown, who is the the chap who posited to the IAU about Pluto not being a moon. And he's a very interesting. He's actually I follow him on social media. He's a really lovely guy. Um, and one of the things that I found most fascinating about the book, it was like, it was great talking about the, it's a biography. It was great talking about all stuff leading up towards Pluto, but he talks at the beginning of the book, um, his daughter is born and they talk about, I'm sure I've mentioned it before, but he talks about, um, they decide to use sign language with their daughter so they can communicate with her before she's vocal and just about like teaching her and how she starts using the like signs to say you know light on light off uh indicate that she wanted a bottle and that sort of things and i was found it so riveting that in this one this one person going from discussing the enormity of the solar system and then down to this like scale of communicating with the air baby daughter about wanting a bottle or not just blew my mind but it's it's well worth a read if you have the time or inclination um i can't remember what the book's called but the, the author the astronomer his name is mike brown um <laughs> his his twitter handle is at Pluto Killer. Um, oh yeah, the book is called How I Killed Pluto. <laughs> um, but it is a really interesting book. Big recommend.
Please tell me. Oh, wait, no, that's the same one. Oh. What else is Ow. It's fine. Nothing to worry about. I'm not, I'm not sus. Pierre is very sus. He was so, oh no. That's very distracted. I'm sure that'll, I'm sure that'll come eventually though. I can't imagine him letting that one go for too long. Why did I start there? It is a very cute little cross stitch. Daisy's making such a fucking mess out there. I'm just gonna go check on her. My music. So I wanna make sure she's not chewing on her shoes. Won't be tick. It's good. It's fine. You almost forgot. Can't have that. The pace at which you guys fill that up is 
startling. It's a good way to, to gobble up all those channel points. Oh, I found out what happened to the doggo. Coco, the neighbors adopted her. The trash neighbors across the road which, which means she still wanders around the streets because they're trash and can't contain their dogs I, I heard daisy bark earlier today and went out and she had to come and say hello Yeah. Our our good neighbors um and I were out there yesterday because we had one of trash neighbors dogs and one of trash neighbors cats in our yard. Um so our neighbor and I went over to their front yard and we're like, do you need food for your animals? Is the reason they're escaping is it because they're hungry? Because we will go buy food to help keep them in your yard. And they were like, no, they've just been fed. And I'm like, well, keep your fucking animals in your yard then. But yeah, it, it was a, a two for deal then with, with ne pleasant next door neighbor, uh, and I versus trash. No one ever replied to my message, the messages that I posted about the dog being lost. So I guess no one came looking. I mean, she's not, she's being fed. I, a little bit sad. I wish I could have taken care of her myself. But at least now I know what's happened to her. Good night, Punky! Thanks for popping in. My nose is itchy. Oh god. Uh, there. Man, 
allergies. If I thought about it, I might have been able to recolor this to look like Daisy, except Daisy doesn't have the big beagle ears, so maybe not. it I had a moment of panic there that I was supposed to do something with one strand but really do like dealing with the tails on the front of the project. It's not as like tidy as it is if it were done on the back, but I still like it. And it works so much better for stream because I don't have to worry about trying to flip the bloody thing when it's on a stand. My coffee's finished. My coffee broke. It's ivory and pale pink. Okay. I wonder if I fucked up my ad thing because of the change in morning. It was right last time, wasn't it? All right, it's starting in 30 seconds, I think. So, time to stand up straight, have a wee, get a drink, pet the dog. I am also going to take a break, and then I will see you when we get back from ads. Make good choices.
Right. Right, where are we? I think. I think. I think. Or at least I call it pink. It's not really pink. At one, three. Well, I guess it is. Oh, is that the first time I've used this gun? It is. Separating some floss from this big old strand here. Super distracted today for change. Okay. I really need to not do that because just like not holding the needle in my mouth. I normally, but if I'm streaming, I probably have lipstick on. Lipstick will get on the needle. So this is E, tail, pink. It is starting here. I was curious how they decide on 
colors for these. So the plans for next week are pretty much penciled in to be Planet Crafter. Um, because it's dropping into a full release next week. One that I had on my wishlist for ages, I had like a little dabble uh, a couple of weeks ago um, but we we're gonna get we're gonna get into it very much looking forward to it And then there may be some grounded, which means I'll probably end up playing that with Flint. And there's probably going to be some Deirdre stuff for that. Pretty sure I have grounded on Steam already. I don't. Maybe I played it through Game Pass. Curious.
Joy by Booby. Thanks, Blarm. Appreciate that. Appreciate the lurk. I suppose this pink is kind of cute actually because it's like so very charming. Hello. Hello. We do it a very specific color combination and emoji combination for today. <laughs> Candy. It's not Flynn. It's not Daisy. It's no bonus, Mom. We're doing orange, not orange, yellow. That's good. It's the lid, that little bastard. Yeah. Eating all my ginger candies. But not me. I don't even eat them. I'm I'm glad that you are you're orange yellow. Oh, so good. Oh shit. Now begins all the, the trouble.
Oh, that's amazing. Was he getting a lot of ear infections? I know I've heard from a, a, like stories of when they get the tubes in their ears, like massive behavioral changes. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad he's got to sort it out. It's earaches are no fun. Ear infections are fucking awful. Poor little bugger. That's amazing. That's really good. How old is he now? Like two and a half, three? Yeah. Check me out remembering things. It's about the nephew, but also I'm very impressed with myself. Yeah, that's, I mean, he should start coming along in leaps and bounds by now that now then. I can't tell you what I had for breakfast today, but I can remember people's pets' names and kiddos' ages. <laughs> what, with another? Oh, jeez. But yeah, now his, his hearing is, is figured out. I bet he'll develop like the development is just such a huge huge speed increase with that taken care of it's especially really good getting him sorted out before next baby is on the way ah I'm glad they can they, they care for him Oh, that's great. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, he's... I mean, that's toddler. It's nice to share. None of them are particularly tiny little dogs. Oh my god, we've a Oh, we we have a
uh, person, and I use the term person lightly, um, that I, I know that has a, I think it's a beagle, um, that is so spoiled it's ridiculous and it my heart breaks for this dog every time I see it because their favorite treat to give it is fucking Reese's and Flint and I were like uh no that is bad and they're like no it's dark chocolate it's fine I'm like in small amounts like their dog is so overweight it's ridiculous and they're giving their fucking dog Reese's I'm like you're gonna kill your dog <laughs> oh no we're fine I looked it up yeah yeah like a little bit every now and then isn't gonna do a lot of damage to a large dog but fuck me I just these people are idiots yeah it's much better to spoil a spoil with attention than it is to spoil with food. Yeah. <laughs> I went out. Um, He's Odie. Daisy was cute the other day. She's she's struggling a bit with her mood. Like she's getting kind of sad and depressed, which is fair. Um, so I went and sat out with her on the porch um, and just gave her like lots of love and pets and stuff and then she started getting goofy and trying to play and it was just like oh my heart yeah she needs I thought the shoes might be a temporary thing but she needs to keep them on um, I gave her one day without them just to to see how her feet would go and within a day they were already grazed up um so now she's got i went and went to dollar tree and bought some baby socks wait see these are toddler socks um like 2t toddler socks so i washed her feet which she was very irritated about because apparently i washed them wrong so I washed them and then she had to wash them. So I had to wash them again and then put on antibiotic cream and then put socks on because the shoes do great, but they kind of, in the cuff, you get like a bit of bark and stuff. So I put the socks on to try and protect. So now Daisy wears shoes on socks. So. But yeah, her, her feet, um, the, the tops of her feet just get scuffed up so fast. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Flower. So I I put her socks on and then I went to go and get the other pair of shoes because we got two pair. I went out and she's looking the sock. I'm like, you're such a dog. <laughs> but she's pretty good. Like basically everything I do, like if I go and put antibiotic cream on her, I'll like hold it up to her face so she can sniff it. So she knows what it is um and she's got so good with her uh taking her medicine every day i don't put it in peanut butter or anything anymore i just drop her pill in her kibble and she eats it because i'll go up to her i'll take her, her cup of food out and her pill bottle and i shake the pill bottle and i start acting all excited like oh it's a treat and I like shake it and put it under her nose so she can smell it. And I'm just constantly shake it. And she's just like, oh my God, oh my God, something's something exciting in here. And then I'll open it and I'll act all secretive and then I'll drop it in a dish. And she just thinks it's the fucking best thing ever. So the first thing she eats with her meal is, <laughs> is basically her doggy Advil. She's such a good dog. And she thinks she's getting a treat. She is a good girl. Like, she literally, I was worried about the shoes and the socks. And she's just, whatever, whatever you want to do. She's like, all right, whatever.
right now she's rearranging her blankets which is a bit more difficult now but she uses she's been picking using her mouth more to pick things up which is pretty cute too she is adapting oh for sure I mean, Daisy's pretty fucking submissive. Oh. She's... I don't think she's ever... She's always been, like, the, the baby of the pack. Which is probably why she still acts like puppy even at nine. Going on ten. I believe it. Oh, I can't really see there. She's still nesting. Yeah. <laughs> okay.
The strand has a knot in it. And I can't see, I can't see close enough to have to cut it off. I may still be able to use that link or something, but I doubt it. So this is just filling in this space. Why did I do that? Oh, it's fine.
Hey, Star. Ooh, new disc. All right. Good luck. Try, try, try not to hammer your finger into a drawer or something. Well, you have fun putting it together. I'd almost be tempted by one of those, except that just standing to wash dishes makes my back <laughs> flare up. I don't know if I could handle standing for more than I do. So the, the, there is a temptation to one of those, but I have like a corner desk and three monitors. I don't think that would work very well. It, I have an L-shaped desk with three monitors, so there's like a lot of cables. So I suppose technically the entire L doesn't need to go up and down. Jeez, that's a pretty long desk. Wait, 63? That's five feet long.
<laughs> yeah, it's, just, it's, the, it's those last three inches that make it count, right? Good. A friend of mine has got a, a height one, and when she's streaming, she just it, she like stands an hour and then sits an hour, and just sort of varies. Just my weekly reminder that church here that tonight. I wish it's something that I thought about a few years back. Not sure if it's something that I could do now. I've heard that making sure you get a, a good mat for under it to stand on helps as well. That's not too bad, actually. You have carpet underneath. I always thought it'd be good to get like those chef, the uh, rubber mats like chefs have. When you're not busy, so do you have a link that you could send me for that? I don't want to distract you from putting it together though, so you take care of your stuff first.
Oh, I missed a stitch at the end there. The only thing I'd worry about is setting it up and then realizing <laughs> that I can't use it as a standing desk. I'd be bad about it. But honestly, that price is so much more than what I paid for my current desk. Or what was paid for my current desk. Ankle. I think my current one was like 140 or thereabouts. Barrett, I hope you're well. All set with supplies for Wednesday. The sleepy bubber here. I'm so glad it finally looks like a sleepy pupper now and not a blob. No, those are my days off. I need Monday and Tuesday. Otherwise, I'll have to do all the things that I need to do on Wednesday. And that's... That's poos. Okay. Oh, no, that works. That works. Okay. Just hibernate for two days. I mean, it's not that I want the days off because it just means I'll be doing chores. Craft that planet, right? Yeah, I bet I bet Drex would like that game. He should try it. He might be interested. Possibly. You should tell him about it. Probably, yeah. If you were a good friend, you would tell him about it. It's very technical. Yes.
So we've come up with an idea for another mod for Ape to make. Since he's now the official Vengeance Story mod, mod maker. Oh, we have ads popping in uh, 30 seconds? Less than 30 seconds. Yeah, adding eclipses to the game. You can have like spoopy, interesting things happening, like a counter to a temporal rift. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Game isn't dark and spoopy enough, but you could have that instead of like having the temporal rifts, which are just poops. You could have like a rare event of an eclipse that does. I don't know. Something. Toast is like, we need eclipses, and I'm like, yeah! That'll be great. That did inspire the 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 idea for it. Yes, I was looking to see how much of it would be visible for us, and it turns out a fair amount, more than I was expecting. And I think Toast is gonna get like pretty much the full full deal up where they are. But I found a, a site where I could put in the, um, oh yeah, but we still, we're going to get about like half maybe, but I found a site where we could put in our zip and it would show like how much of an eclipse we're going to get, which is kind of handy. I, I find that sort of stuff absolutely riveting. I just find it so fascinating, not just in terms of the just the astronomical side of it but also the the changes so like human behavior and changes in animal behavior and changes in the environment you know like temperatures changing and the, the climate you know like the weather changing like the wind picking up and stuff i think it's just really interesting and apparently there's a cool thing yeah, but there's this cool thing that you can do with color. So apparently, 98.8, .8, dang. There's this thing with uh, with the lighting just before totality, which makes greens pop. Like the color green like, looks more vivid, which I'd never heard of before. And it's an interesting like science-y experiment thing that you can do uh, there's a explanation of what's going on but yeah all like like we haven't had how many we've had so many eclipses over the, you know millennia if it was really going to be a, a harbinger of doom maybe it should have happened in 20 2016 Um, I'm like, wait, what year is it now? Um, but yeah, that looks really interesting. I think that'd be a fun one if you've got kiddos to like have an experiment with. One weird green and yeah. Like, it's just routine stuff. It's cool stuff, but it's just routine stuff. So the last eclipse that we had here, um, 
we had some extra glasses so I gave them out to the kids next door and explained to the kids what was going on so they could you know understand because their their parental units weren't the brightest crayons in the box if you know what I'm saying um I am by no means an expert, at least they understood the basics of what was going on there and explained how important it was to wear these glasses that I got them to, or to not look at it properly. Yeah. Yeah, no, I can't think of at least uh, a, a more subtle way of putting it. Okay, this is actually looking really cute. So this is like a leg, and this is back left paw tucked up under tummy, and this is the tum tum. she do Lizzie's been a dork I set up an old mobile phone as like a like a nanny cam so I could keep an eye on Daisy out on the porch and she gets stuck it's supposed to be cloudy. Oh no. I don't know what our weather conditions are tomorrow, is they? I mean, it'll be it'll still get dark for you. That'd be exciting. Mm. A little overcast, apparently. Partly cloudy. So I don't know. Sunshine and clouds mixed, high near 80. Winds east southeast, 10 to 15 miles per hour. So yeah, hard to say really what it's going to end up being like. I've definitely got to the point where I'm just like, okay, this is cute. I should start another project now. I have to finish one before I start another. Yeah, I would, 
I would love to see some of your paintings, Beard, if there's something that you feel comfortable sharing. I would love to see some of your Yeah, but basically, um, well, not entirely, but a large number of totes that I have, the little plastic, white plastic storage containers are projects in various stages of vision. Ooh. Instagram. I can't use Instagram on my computer. I don't know what the fuck is going on. But today, I logged into Instagram on, like it asked me to log in. So I was like, okay, so I log in. And then on my phone, I get a pop-up going, was this you? And I said, yes. And it's like, okay, well you still have to change your password. I'm like, okay. So I changed the password, tried to log in again, and the same thing happens over and over again. And I tried to log into threads, and it's like, you need a profile on mobile. It's like, I have it, I have it. So I can't access, in I can only access Instagram and threads on my phone at the moment, and it's infuriating. Okay, well, I recognize that thumbnail. Ooh, I like these. Not me just browsing your, not me just browsing your Instagram account while I'm streaming. Oh, that tattoo is beautiful. Yeah, I I always forget that I have an Instagram, and I never know what to do with it. I always get the, uh, Inktober, I always like, you know, I'll use Inktober, I'll use it to get in the habit of drawing, and then I'll do like two sketches, doodles, whatever, and then I'm like, yeah, yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> well, now I can follow you on the Insta. I got you. But yeah, my, my Instagram's sort of gone from posting like Twitch related stuff to posting like craft and stream adjacent things rather than, but it, I don't know. I'm all over the place with it. Like I said on my Patreon, but I still don't know what the fuck I'm doing with it either. It's just like, food and crafting and plants, I guess. I keep wanting to. I've done it a few times where we've set up a channel on Discord. But I get, um, I don't know, I get anxious about it, especially about doing drawing on stream because I just second guess myself. Which is silly because Pierre, the croissant, is fucking adorable. And that was just me just relaxing and just fucking around and having fun. But if I try and do something specifically, it never works. But I have in my head what I want thing want my artwork to look like. And then there's like what it actually comes out like. And I know that you have to do work. Like it takes practice to bring it up, but I get grumpy because it doesn't work. I'm my own worst enemy with that. Hey, 
here? I don't know if I did these or not. It is. We've got some very talented artists who are who uh, spend time in this channel. I'm gonna pick where the next spot is that I want to try and finish. I said I was sitting there like not sure if I wanted to do the the border the outline on this picture but I think I'm gonna have to because there's no definition on the feet otherwise It takes a different kind of energy to do a, an art stream from doing anything else. But I mean, like, there's no reason for me to be anxious about it. it there's never, I've never had a negative experience doing an art stream. Never. But for some reason, it just makes me just like. I very very nearly came close to doing one today because I have an idea in my head I mean yeah that's a thing I definitely like even today I know I've had a couple of spells there where I've just like blanked off but I think that's part of it like there's there's one guy I watch occasionally who does a lot of just charcoal work and he probably only looks up like once an hour or so like he really gets into it but it's really kind of nice just watching the process and you know something going from like a couple of scratches in charcoal on a piece of paper to this like full-blown beautifully sort of shaded picture of I don't know like a shell or a squirrel or whatever like he's just really clever and talented I think a lot of people who for me anyway if I'm watching an artist art stream it's not really to engage with the person streaming it's to to enjoy watching the process of the art happen Which is quite different than if you're a game streamer and you're supposed to be talking to chat all the time. Did you see that they've added um, an open world 
Oh, sorry, creative mode to Moria. I was intrigued by that. I don't know where I saw that. Maybe Twitter. Too many games. Too many games. Pretty sure. I don't know. Now I'm just like second guessing myself. <sighs> it's sandbox mode. Yeah. Oh no, Hydra near two. Oh shit. Oh no, look. Journey to Vercolitis. I wonder if the DLC will be on uh, Taylor. April the 5th. Oh, they'd only just dropped. Shit. Beard. Why are you gonna do this to me? get very far in <laughs> just saying things look words have impact over six times the size of the original island i really didn't get very far into the base game but i had a lot of fun i ended up making a mini game for myself um of using the um the, like the gem sorting machines to like that would like shoot gems and to like try and aim it make it hit a bucket i was so impressed with myself how much have i got in that 15 hours so yeah probably about the same build snapping new lighting magnets Yeah, the buckets are great. Like trying to get the sword, like the gems to like shoot into the bucket. I think I had some frustrations with the coins and something else in the UI. I had this like full on like multi tiered sorting system of like different gems it would like cascade down and then like spit outwards oh it's only ten dollars <sighs> look don't don't need it good See, now that's the thing. It's not that I don't have anything to play, as I have too many things to play. Yeah, 
Yeah, there was there was the coins bugged me, and there was something else. I can't remember what it was. I didn't mind like putting things in the back of the truck. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, excuse me. I mean, the, we, yeah. I mean, 12, 15 hours into the base game, you've not really done anything. I mean, it's still kind of like tutorial times. Yeah, you should definitely get a load of laundry done. I need to try and get some done. Oh. No, oh, that's right. Why your washing machine is still broken after two and a half weeks of asking for help with it. So that's fun. I'm washing clothes by hand at the moment. Whee! Get my dishes down tonight though. Okay. Yeah, go do it. Do it. This one. I'm gonna choose two hours. I trim that and then work over that tail. finish that. Did not finish those stitches. Oh man. But I caught that now.
I want to do want to do this. I want to do this. What is dark? Oopsie. Alright, here is this. No, that's just stupid. I'll do it. Pretty sure this is the right spot.
Feb by numbers. Yep. Good job. I need to look up and see if I can get a washboard delivered. Damn it. I've got a knot in my boss here and I see well enough. Unpick it. Oh, 
thought I thought I got it for a minute there, but I didn't. Yeah, washing machine went has been act it's been on the fritz for a little while. And normally a little kick will uh, make it behave. But uh a couple of weeks ago I just decided to not work anymore. I've been washing clothes by hand, which is not like we don't have, don't have kids or anything, but uh, without a washboard, it's hard to wash properly. Raining party! Hi, Zealand. Thank you. Thank you for the raid. Free delivery by Friday. What were you up to? And oh, you're playing Nightingale again. Nice. get this one tomorrow it's pretty cute huh I do the trick April 8th, one day delivery. All right. It is, it's a very fun game. Very pretty. All right, I have ordered myself a little plastic washboard that should help. This. Now, go back to trying to figure out the stitch. Sorry, I'm just gonna move the light. Oh crap. I'll put the light back on the stitch in a minute. I just need to try and see if I can pick this knot. I don't think I can actually. Just look around it. Oh, Taco is playing Hydroneer. Influenced by streamers. Rude. Yeah, I think the sensor for the water level has pooped itself on the washing machine. And if it was a dryer, I'd feel pretty confident in fixing it. Okay, I've, I've, I repaired our last dryer and kept it going for, I don't know, a good five years longer than would have otherwise. 
but the washing machine I'm not Yeah, it is. It's very much the circle of Twitch. Wait, why is that? I know there's a, a few regular, a few of my regulars who are just like, damn it, Dal, stop making me want to get games. I'm like, I can't help it. If you enjoy the things that I play. This thing would turn the other direction. <clears throat> I mean, I can't afford them either. That's why I sites so like email or an apply. Why did I end that? I I feel uncomfortable with that sort of false I don't feel I don't feel comfortable with the way that that's phrased will be. Yeah, sorry. It, it it just it just rings in false flattery. I know you're trying to be kind, but it it's just kind of makes me feel icky. No, what would help is just, you know, pressing me in a normal way. I don't need to give anything. Don't do the weird goddess thing. I know you mean well, it just makes me uncomfortable. Strain just pissing me off. I do love a good garden gnome.
I got my granddad a little um, ceramic garden gnome for Christmas one year. With a, it was like a little like paint your own kit. He thoroughly had fun with it. It was really fun watching. It was like a kid with it, all excited, getting to paint all the colors and stuff. Oh no. Okay, well, it's good that you were able to figure out what the problem was. I wouldn't mind having a play with a 3D printer at some point, but I have nothing. Well, I mean, there's things that could be useful, but nothing that warrants the cost of buying one and running one and materials and stuff. need that there. I just need the people here to help. Hi, Ollie! Alright, let me get this squared away. I just hit it. Wheel stabbing. Yes. It's in place. Is it this week that you have off? I'm so excited for you to have a week off. I 
I have no concept of time. It's gone. My time has fallen off. Yay! Oh my god, that's so exciting. Make sure you rest some. Don't just do work the whole time. Okay, well, as long as you get some rest. You've been busting your ass. You'll do it. Do better at things rested. I know, because that's what you guys keep telling me. Yeah, no, that's true. That would be. Yeah. That too. So, so. Oh. oh, it looks like we have ads popping up shortly. So. Oh. <sighs> this is my this is what my world my new water bottle looks like without the chroma key. <laughs> There's fire, but the green screen gets rid of the yellow. But it's small enough that I can hold it without my hands hurting. There's fire! Is fire! It's so it is. Or, yeah, no, it is. It was like a ten it was like ten bucks on Amazon, so it ain't fancy, but also because it's a different colour, it stands out on my desk more, so I pay attention to it. I notice it. Okay. It's uh 30 seconds till ads. I'm gonna go have a wee. Uh, you guys should hydrate and stretch. And, and do other things and I will see you back here in a few minutes enjoy doggo see you soon
Okie doke. I was thinking about cover doing the the cool thing and putting stickers on it. But it's kind of pretty. later than nine o'clock. Oh, that's true. I've made pretty good progress on this today. I wasn't sure about the the pink on the tummy, but now that I see it, it just reminds me of Daisy's tummy. Where the, the fur is like super short and velvety.
Now we're getting out. Oh, this is becoming dog butt. Still wish I knew who it was that sent it. So I could say thank you. My eyes are starting to struggle with focusing, so that is a good time to <clears throat> give my eyes a break. I reckon, but I think we did okay today. I feel like I didn't really do much, but. I don't know. Um, so yeah, next week um, plans are croissant. hopefully with some croissants in my life. Uh, Planet Crafter Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That's it. Um, maybe grounded in there somewhere. I don't know when it's dropping. Um, I can't remember what day it's dropping. If it pops up on Deirdrop, probably play that. Uh, which means we'll probably end up doing co op with Flint for it. Uh, but yes, other than that, I don't know. Croissant. So yeah. Planet Croissant. It last grounded updates is 16th. Okay, so I've got a bit of time. Thank you, Barrett. Okay, so yeah, next week we can just do Planet Crafter and then the not next week, but the week after is Flint's anniversary stream. So if you guys caught a glimpse of him doing the disgusting pizzas for his birthday, we're doing more of that. Um, but I'll be looking for some more cursed toppings. And in fact, yesterday we had our neighbors um, occasionally bring us like a box of canned stuff. That they've got surplus from the food bank and a couple of cans of, of squid and ink uh, were in the box. So we're saving that for Flint's cursed pizza. So that's the 23rd. Which is great because it's on a not stream day for me, so I don't have to take a day off stream for it. Um, where, where are we going? I've run out of brain. We want some boulders gate. Pretty quiet tonight, huh? Uh, 
don't know. Well, sci oh, you go into the science stream again. Let's write the science stream. We rated them before. They're really fun. Um, scientists by day, science communicators also by day. They, they work on projects to engage and support the community. They are science communicators, which is very important. They're doing art, sciencey art stuff. Um, I've been in this room a couple of times and it's always entertaining. But yeah, they're both research scientists, so that's pretty cool. Well, thank you, Luna. I know my streams have been kind of short this week, and I'm doing my best not to feel guilty about it. It's not working well, but I'm trying. <laughs> um, but yeah, please, please join us in rating the science stream. Um, and uh, here are the rate calls. If you would like to copy and paste those, you are welcome to... Why did he pin that? Why did he do that? Um, so you can copy and paste that. Wait, why did he? Oh, I bet he was trying to copy and paste. Um, oh wait. Uh, I'm confused now. Uh, so yes, feel free to, to copy and paste it. There's me on social. So if you'd like to find me on social media. Um, also, I do now have a Patreon. I, I am working on what to put on it. Um, but that is the absolute best way of supporting me. Uh, and in future, any game servers that we have will be specifically Patreon slash mods. Um, so yes, great way of, of supporting the streamer is Patreon. Um, I will see you guys on Wednesday. Uh, keep an eye out for me in the Cozy Friends channel. If you feel like watching some Downton Abbey, I'll probably have that on at some point tomorrow or Tuesday. I'm about to get timed out. Okay, good night. Bye.